The verdict was a major embarrassment for the prosecutors and police, and observers say it's no surprise they plan to launch a further appeal. The major blow for them came when independent forensic experts appointed by the court torpedoed the scientific evidence used at the original trial. This prosecutor says it was a trial with unacceptable media pressure. And unfortunately, the verdict was practically already announced, which is not normal. Do you think there were errors on the part of the police? In my opinion, there were errors on the part of the court experts and the appeal judges. This prosecutor says there isn't a single fact, no witness, no traces, nothing that implies another person was at the crime scene. There's nothing except the three of them. If there was another person, that person was very, very clever. But many critics of the police say they were too obsessed by their belief in a drug fueled sex game gone wrong. Some say it's more likely the man still in jail for the crime simply acted alone.